walking to the Tampa Bay Rum Company, uh, the home of the Gasparilla Rum. So the owner uh, wanted to create a genuine pirate rum or something to that effect. And Tampa is definitely known for their pirate festivities with their Gasparilla Festival every year. Um, not this year necessarily because of COVID, but it's a huge, huge festival that is a big deal in the Tampa Bay area. And, um, but the theming and everything at this distillery from what we can see is all pirate themed. So we're really excited to go in and see their setup. I just want them to say booty. I got this booty. <laughs> Hey, Jose here. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can join us in all of our adventures. Welcome to San Jose. So we had a really great time here at the Tampa Bay Rum Company, home of the Gasparilla Rum. Um, good, <laughs> we walked out with a bottle. They're doing a BOGO sell. So we bought a bottle of rum and then one of their cane vodkas, which is sugar cane, Florida cane. Uh, we got that for free. So yeah. it was really, really great. The tour and tasting was fantastic. Their tasting room is basically like being on a pirate island. It's, it's not like a pirate island. It's like a, being on a pirate ship deck ship deck like yeah. on, underneath uh it, it was just really neat i thought uh, of it like being like tortuga type of thing you know but the pirate you island you were in an island you were inside with wood and everything so either way it was immersive and the sam, rum sam was already amazing. had enough room because <laughs> he was on an island and i'm like i'm on a ship still <laughs> No, maybe you had too much rum because you were rocking and I was already on solid land. Uh, I don't know. I think we need to go back and take a look at where we were because it was all Rewind wet. the footage. Rewind it. <laughs> Either way, we had a great time. We do recommend the Tampa Bay Rum Company. If you're in the Tampa Bay Ybor City area, definitely stop by, do a tour and tasting. Uh, there is a nominal charge for it. You can check their website for their hours and other good stuff. And uh, yeah, the owner definitely loves pirates. Which it's, is cool because pirates are fun. Um, <laughs> well, it's it's a lot of fun. It's the experience is great, I, and the people are here are amazing. They they do really welcome you in, very warm welcome. They they make you a part of it and they bring you through and they tell you all about it. So it's a great experience. And we were really impressed with the facilities. We've been in a lot of facilities where they produce alcohol. We've worked at a winery. We've been in a lot of breweries and all this other stuff. And I was really impressed with the setup, the way the production area, the cleanliness, the organization, everything. So it's great. when you see the back of house and it translates into a great front of house, you just are impressed all around. And we really were impressed. And the all front around. of house translate into the product. Yeah. So we walked out with one of their bottles of their spiced rum, which is very heavy on the, well not heavy, but it's good with the cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, all that other good stuff. One of my favorite spiced rums now, we're probably going to be stopping by to buy more of this in the future. Yeah. I can't wait to see what I can mix up with this one. Let's do it! Thanks for joining us. We are welcome to San Jose. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe!